Hello and welcome to today's lesson on microphones and loudspeakers, which is part of the magnetism and electromagnetism topic in GCSE Separate Science Physics. So in today's lesson, we're going to look at describing how a microphone and a loudspeaker works. So if we've been successful and learnt in today's lesson, we should be able to describe what the microphone and the loudspeaker are, understand how the generator and the motor effects work, and then finally explain how the microphone and the loudspeaker works. So this leads into the following part of the GCSE separate science physics specification 4.7.2.4 loudspeakers and which is separate science only content and 4.7.3.3 microphones which is also separate science only content. Now electromagnets have many uses in the real world such as being used in scrapyard cranes, such as being used in circuit breakers, such as being used in relay switches, such as being used in loudspeakers and headphones. Electromagnets are also used in electric bells, they're used in particle accelerators, they're used in MRI scanners, and they're used in microphones and also magnetic levitation trains. Now whilst there are many many different applications of electromagnets in the real world, in today's lesson we're going to focus on two two particular applications, the microphone and the loudspeaker. Now the loudspeaker uses the motor effect to work, whilst the microphone uses the generator effect to work. Now loudspeakers work as they create sound waves when an alternating potential difference is applied to its coil, whilst the microphone works as it generates an alternating potential difference when a sound wave makes the coil vibrate. Now, when a loudspeaker works, it creates sound waves of the same frequency as the alternating potential difference, whilst the microphone works as an alternating potential difference is induced in the coil at the same frequency as the sound wave that hits it. So let's look at how these two particular devices work. So a loudspeaker works by the following process. A current passes through the coil, and this makes the coil inside our loudspeaker an electromagnet. Now the electrical coil, sorry, the electrical coil then means that the electrical current from the amplifier is then continually changing as it is an alternating current and this therefore causes the magnetic field around the coil to continually change. Now the changing attraction and repulsion between the permanent magnet which is surrounding the coil, their magnetic field and the coil's electromagnetic field produces a force on the coil due to the motor effect which we discussed earlier and then as a result this makes the coil vibrate backwards and forwards. Therefore, the speaker cone will therefore vibrate backwards and forwards as it is attached to the coil and this generates a sound wave. Now it's important to note that the frequency at which the current changes direction in our loudspeaker is the frequency of the sound that the way that the speaker produces. Now once you have produced your um, your cone vibrating backwards and forwards, the movement of air particles around the cone then produces pressure variations in air needed for sound waves. Now remember what a sound wave is. So the air molecules will bunch together to form compressions and then spread out to form rarefactions. So that will lead to your sound wave being produced. So let's just go over this particular process again. So you'll notice that in your loudspeaker that the, that the moving coil loudspeaker and the headphones used the motor effect to convert changes of current, which is alternating current, in a coil of wire to change to, to a change of pressure in sound waves. Now, it's important to note by looking at the schematic diagram of a loudspeaker that in a loudspeaker, a coil is placed inside a permanent magnet, which is then attached to a diaphragm or cone. Now, the frequency of the sound wave produced is the same as the frequency of the alternating current supplied to the coil. So you'll notice that when this cone or diaphragm vibrates, this will then produce variations in air pressure which leads to a sound wave developing which is of the same frequency as the original alternating current that's going through the coil inside our loudspeaker. Now by contrast, let us look at what is inside a microphone. So you've got another diaphragm inside of a microphone, you've got a moving coil and you've also got a permanent magnet. So it's a very similar setup to a loudspeaker. Now how does a microphone 
microphone work? Well, pressure variations in sound waves cause this diaphragm attached to the microphone to vibrate. Now, the vibrations of the diaphragm cause the coil to vibrate. Now, this is possible because the coil is set up to move backwards and forwards. Now, then what happens is that the coil moves relative to the permanent magnet, so this will therefore induce a potential difference via the generator because our our coil is moving through the permanent magnet's magnetic field so that is inducing the potential difference now because the coil is part of a complete circuit this means that this induced potential difference causes a current to flow in that circuit now the change in the size and the direction of the current matches the vibrations of the coil so if the coil vibrates more because there's a bigger sound wave hitting the diaphragm that will produce a larger current if the coil moves in the opposite direction the current produced will be in the opposite direction so what is happening is the electrical signal signals generated in our circuit and our microphone match the pressure variations in our sound wave so a microphone uses the generator effect to convert variations in pressure in a sound wave into various different electrical currents. Now for a microphone, a coil is attached to a diaphragm and placed inside of a permanent magnet. Now the alternating potential difference induced in the coil has the same frequency as the sound wave which makes the diaphragm vibrate. So let's just remember that microphones and loudspeakers basically work in the opposite way so whilst the microphone uses a generator effect your loudspeaker uses the motor effect whilst the microphone is converting sound waves into an electrical current which is alternating the the loudspeaker converts an alternating electrical current into sound waves so loudspeakers and headphones use the motor effect to convert variations in current in electrical circuits to pressure variations in sound waves and you should be able to explain how a moving coil and headphones both work whilst microphones use the generator effect to convert the pressure variations in sound waves into variations in current in electrical circuits and you should be able to explain how a moving coil microphone works so if we've been successful and learnt in today's lesson we should be able to describe what the microphone and the loudspeaker are, understand how the generator and motor effects both work, and finally explain how the microphone and the loudspeaker works. So I hope you've enjoyed today's lesson on microphones and loudspeakers, which is part of the magnetism and electromagnetism topic in GCSE Separate Science Physics. Thank you very much for watching and have a lovely day.